I saw that my life was was full of incredibly positive experiences, occasional negative experiences, and a lot of the time so-and-so experiences. There were these range of experiences. And I also saw in my life that there was times where I just felt completely confused. And a lot of the time, if I look, look at, at my life, there was a, a sense of, of, of vagueness, I could say, or just not really knowing the answer, but, but really wanting to, to figure out the answer, really wanting to find some kind of response to, to my question of, of how can I be happy? Then maybe that question advanced to how can I find truth? How can I find peace in my life? How can I find some stability? When I was honest with myself, I really just wanted to be able to, to openly relate with people in a stable way all of the time. So, for, for instance, like with my friends and family, I wanted to always approach that relationship with the love and respect that I knew that they deserved. And I always wanted to approach myself with the love and respect that I, I knew that I deserved, but didn't know how to give to myself. So when I came to the Balanced View training, I came with a lot of ideas. I, I came with a lot of ideas about myself and about the world. And like we heard in the talk today, I was given the invitation to allow all those ideas about myself and about the world to be as they are. So when we walk into the Balanced View training, we are given a, an invitation to allow everything to be as it is. Everything you can just simply term data. You may have heard that term used in the talk today or throughout your experience with Balanced View. Data is just everything that we can perceive, thoughts and emotions and sensations, people, places and things, everything that we can experience, we simply term data. And now to, to come to know open intelligence, open intelligence is just <coughs> all this power to perceive. So this power to experience, this power that you are exhibiting right now, this power that is fully alert right now, this power to perceive. To know this without any question, just stop thinking right now. Stop the descriptions, pause any descriptions that, that you have going on. And we see that there is this alertness continuous this alertness that is there regardless of what kind of descriptions are occurring. And if you are like me, then the next thought that may occur is, how the hell can I stop thinking? And, <laughs> and did I really stop thinking? <laughs> or was I just kidding myself? And what is amazing here is that <coughs> next appearance is also an appearance of open intelligence. It's an, a, a data appearing within open intelligence also. So the practice here is to rely on short moments of open intelligence and to repeat that just spontaneously throughout your day whenever you remember to do so. That's nice, isn't it? Just whenever you remember to do so. <laughs> Not you must do this at least five times a day for <coughs> a certain amount of seconds. <laughs> Just spontaneously, a brief moment of this open intelligent expanse whenever you remember to do so. And we see that this open intelligence, gradually we start to see that actually, wait a minute, this open intelligence is always on regardless of what I'm experiencing. And so in relation to what I shared before about always having this underlying sense of confusion, you know, that sense when everything is going great and fine, but there's this knowing that mm, somewhere down the line I'm going to be confused again. 
I didn't fully clarify that. Somewhere down the line, I'm going to come up with, come up against a relationship that I'm not really know, I'm not, not going to know how to handle. Somewhere down the line, I'm going to come up with a, a, a data stream or a thought or a sensation. Maybe those, um, those ones that you're very familiar with, um, anxiety, for instance, loneliness, sadness, um, depression. These were some of, some of my highlighted data streams or primary data streams, you could say. These were c certain ones that I thought, okay, I've got a great life and, and there's great things going on, but there are those things that I just don't really know about. So coming to this training and to, to hear this instruction, it started to deeply clarify that in my experience, I know whatever is coming down the line, whatever experience, whatever circumstance I'm in, I will always be able to, to be empowered and I will always be able to have complete stability. Complete and mental, mental and emotional stability is what is guaranteed here and it's guaranteed because there is a support structure available and it's guaranteed for, for, for everyone that, that relies on the support structure that this will come about in your experience. That was something I, I was totally astounded, astounded with that um, complete mental and emotional stability was inherent in my experience and natural to my experience and and a birthright and that was something incredible and so initially my experiences were in life were always like a, a roller coaster you could say one moment up and one moment down and and somewhere in between and, and quite hectic and crazy and then also relaxed and easeful and and so all of these experiences are experiences and we're given the the ability to recognize what is constant and what is stable and what is ever present within these experiences and subsuming all of experiencing and the four mainstays I mentioned and, and can just uh, speak more about. When I, when I came to the training, to be honest, the, to, to hear about an, an organization and then let alone to hear about a support structure raised many questions for me. It, it raised many, many things for me. And, and, and I was... Um, because, because nothing along the lines of support structures and organizations had worked for me in the past. And so again, I brought all of my ideas and my belief systems and assumptions and I placed it on this circumstance. And, but I was open enough to, to test it out. And so like I, I shared before, it's an invitation to test out um, a complete support network to allow everything to be as it is in your experience and to allow everything to, to empower rather than be, uh, be disempowering. So each and every moment we can see we have a simple, simple choice in relation to how we want to perceive. We can either, we can either go after our data arising, we can sit there and analyze and criticize and maybe blame and judge or, or indulge and, and um, really go into all of our data that is arising or we can allow it to be as it is, allow it to be the, the spontaneous open intelligence always available. And so the support structure I mentioned is the four mainstays and, it's, and it, the practice is short moments of open intelligence, a simple practice, a training. So we uh, an offer each day here, except for Sundays, each day here uh, written trainings that you can read and um, be engaged with and uh, always on... Uh, website with offerings of media and downloads and free, free, um, free media available. There's a trainer, so just like myself and Nettie are here today sharing our experience, you can come here each day and, and be in touch with a trainer, ask questions in open meetings, 
be involved in trainings and, and again be available to, to ask people about their direct experience like your, your perfect question, what are the practical, um, you know, practically how does this work, Practic practically how does this work in our experience. This is a great question because that's what we want. We don't want, a, a, in my experience, I had many philosophies, beautiful philosophies and, and, and not so beautiful philosophies. And what did I find? I found that they were only helpful to me when I was reading them or when I was listening to them. When I came to those experiences of being with friends and family and, and acting in that same old way again, where did the philosophy um, help me there? When there were intense circumstances like death, dying, illness, sickness, you know, I could sit there and think, okay, uh, I'm going to try and allow this to be as it is. I'm going to try and allow this to be as it is and maybe repeat that, repeat that, repeat that. Or I can look to a, a support structure, a comprehensive support structure. And so this was key to me from bringing it out of a philosophy and into everyday life experience into where I really, really wanted this when I was honest with myself, where I really, really wanted this. So, for instance, when I was in those circumstances of being sick myself or with other people that are sick, being with, um, <coughs> speaking with friends and family on the phone, um, having their data come up and, and I could share a philosophy and I could, uh, what I saw was it just confused the situation even, even more. Or I could be with them completely in my, share with them in my own experience if I felt necessary. The practical benefits that I'm finding, practical benefits like um, being in heated situations and seeing that where once I just reacted straight, straight away, and said those things that I regret all the time. Now having such space around that, being able to see that each and every moment I have a clear ability to make appropriate and, and clear decisions in my life. That was a very, very practical um, implication of utilizing the Four Mainstays that I knew, I started to see that I know in each and every moment the, the most appropriate decision to benefit myself fully and to benefit everyone fully. I was horrible at decision making and, I, and it used to just keep me up at night, really. It, it kept me up at night, my decisions in my life. I saw that I, I, I had a precious, precious life, a precious ability to experience life and, and I just felt that I was wasting it. And I didn't know how to, to not do that. I felt that I was wasting it on endless worries on concerns about money, on, on um, not relating the best way with my friends and family, not being able to express with them the love that I felt, not being able to, 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 to basically enjoy simple, simple life as it is. And so this is where it's just, it was just so <coughs> profound for me to, to see that this was, this was changing. This was changing in my experience through being able to rely on the, the, the Four Mainstays, through being able to see that uh, all of these appearances, all of these appearances right now, we can test it out. Any appearance that you have right now, any data stream, spontaneously release like this line drawn in midair, like a line drawn in water. spontaneously releasing within this brilliant expanse of open intelligence. That immediately was for me just a great relief and empowered many of these circumstances, empowered many of these situations to give that space that I really so, so desperately wanted and that empowerment to see moment to moment how I could be of benefit.